Hello children, this video is from playing with numbers chapter exercise 3.4. Okay, in this video we are going to discuss second, third and fourth problems. Very easy. Just watch the video till the end. Let me take the second question. Find the largest number which is a factor of each of the numbers 504, 792 and 1080. Okay, so simple. You need to find the factors of these numbers. Among them you should pick out the largest number. Okay, here he gave that. We need to find out the largest number which is a factor of each of the number. So, factor means F. Right? So, uh, which is a factor of each of these? Means for these three numbers, we should pick out the common factor. Okay. C. Common means C. Common factor CF. Now, here largest number. So, largest number is nothing but the highest number. So, we need to find out the HCF. So, find out the HCF of these three numbers by using any one method. You can use prime factorization method or continued division method. Okay. So, let us find out the largest number which is a factor of each of the numbers. 504, 792 and 1080 is the HCF of these numbers. Okay. We need to find out the HCF of these numbers. Okay. We will find out by using the prime factorization method. You can do by continued division method also. It is your wish. Okay. Here I solve with prime factorization method because it is very very important method. So, let me take first 504. So, as a, for whenever you are doing the prime factorization, you need to, you should be perfect with the divisibility rules. Okay. So, always start the uh, factorization with least prime number and continue it till you get here 1. Okay. So, as the last unit digit is 4, it is divisible by 2 because it's divisibility, because of the divisibility rule of 2, it accepts the, if the unit digit is 4, 2, uh, 6, 8 and 0, it is divisible. So, it goes to 52 times. Again, the unit digit is 2. So, I can take 2 again. So, 2, 126 times. Again, here the unit digit is 6. So, it goes in 2 table 63 times. Now, the unit digit is 3. So, it will not go in 2 table. So, in the next prime number is 3. So, we, we should check with 3 divisibility rule. What is 3 divisibility rule? Some of the digits should be divisible by 3. So, 6 plus 3 is 9. So, 9 goes in 3 table. So, I can take that 63 also goes in 3 table. So, 3, 21 times. Now, here again 1, it will not go in 2 table. So, let me check again with 3 table. So, 2 plus 1 is 3. So, it goes in 3 table. 3, 7 times. Now, 7 is a prime number. So, it goes only in 7 table. So, 7 months, 7. So, we got here 1. And one thing after doing prime factorization, you should confirm whether all these are prime numbers or not. Because prime factorization we need to factorize a given number by using the prime numbers the name itself is telling the factorization involves the prime numbers as its factors okay our next number is 792 repeat the same procedure so last digit is 2 so it goes in 2 table so 3 2 396 times again 6 is there here so i can take 2 table 2 198 times next 299 times. So, here the last digit is 9. It will not go in 2 table. So, I can take 3 table 333 times. Again 3 table 311 times. 11 is a prime number. So, it goes only in 11 table. Okay. Finished. Now, 1080. So, same procedure. Last digit is 0. I can take 2 table. So, 2 540 times. Again 2. 2 270 times. Next 2. 135 times. Last digit is 5. So, it, it, it will not go in 2 table. We need to check with 3. If not, 5. I'll, 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 uh, anyhow, the unit digit is 5. It goes in 5 table. Once we can check with 3 table also. 5 plus 1, 6. 6 plus 3, 9. We can take 3 table or 5 table. Your wish. I am taking here 3 table. So, 345. Because we need to start with least prime number. So, compared to 5, 3 is the least prime number. So, I prefer 3 only here. Okay. Even though you took, you take 5 here, the same prime factors will come here. Suppose I got here 3. See, let me check. Let me do this. 3, 15 times, 5, 3, 5 times, 5, 1 time. Okay. If here, if I take 5, I'll get 5, 2, 10, 5, 7, 35. Again, I'll get 3, 3s here. Okay. This 7 will, 5 will go here and this 3 will come here. That's it. The prime factors will be same only. Okay. So, now we finish the prime factorization. Now, we'll take all these factors. We'll write the, num the given number as product of these prime factors. From them, we will pick out the common factors. From the common factors, we will pick out the highest one. That is the procedure of prime factorization method by doing the HCF, right? So, let us do that. So, if you write 504 as product of prime factors, 
you need to write like this next 792 you got like this and 1080 like this okay now from this we should uh, take out the common factors if you observe here here these, these two three twos are common here these twos uh, sorry here and here threes and here threes apart from this you these are the extra ones which are not common in three of them okay now here these are the common factors we need to pick out the highest one means simple 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 all the common factors you need to write okay so 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 which is 72 so 72 is a factor which is common in 504 792 and 1080 it is the largest number which is a factor of 504 792 and 1080 simple thing whenever whenever the question is given uh, if any one num two numbers or three numbers and he asks you to find out the largest number which is a factor of that given numbers then we need to do the hcf okay so let us go to the next problem here is your third question the length breadth and height of a room are 12 meters 15 meters and 18 meters respectively okay so here uh, as he gave length breadth and height it is a three dimensional figure and the measurements are different so it is a cuboidal shaped room okay determine the longest tape which can measure all the three dimensions of the room exactly now we have length sub length breadth and height measurements different right so we should have a tape such that these three measurements can be exactly measured okay so for that one longest determine the longest tape which can measure all the three dimensions so here all the three dimensions means these three numbers okay which can measure means the factor okay which is common and longest tape means h so hcf we need to find out okay so the longest tape which can measure 12 meters 15 meters and 18 meters exactly is the hcf of these numbers okay we need to find out the hcf that's it now we are we, we can use both of the methods we can use any one of the even method so i am preferring here prime factorization method let me do the prime factorization for 12 15 and 18 let first i'll take 12 so 2 6 times 2 3 times 3 1 time okay now 15 3 5 times 5 ones next 18 2 nines 3 threes 3 ones right so now i'll take the i'll write the number as product of these factors and pick out the common and from them i will write the highest common factor so 12 i got 2 into 3 into 2 from the prime factorization next 15 5 into 3 next 18 2 into 3 into 3 okay so here we can see here we have 2 here also we have 2 but here is from uh, with the prime factorization of 15 we don't have 2 as a factor here so we need don't we should not take 2 okay so here you have only 3 as a common so let me take 3 as common factor so the longest tape which can measure 12 meters 15 meters and 18 meters exactly is 3 meters okay so whenever you are going to measure three different measurements or four different measures so you need to take the hcf you should find out the hcf so that you can come to know that this is the measurement which can i which can uh, which i can use that measures all the different measurements okay here is your fourth question hcf of co prime numbers 4 and 15 was found as follows by factorization so we gave the factorization after doing prime factorization 4 equals to 2 into 2 and 15 equals to 3 into 5 okay now what is the next step he gave since there is no common prime factor hcf of 4 and 15 is 0 so here if you observe there is no common prime factor if there is no common prime factor he is telling that that the hcf is 0 okay next is the answer correct whatever hcf he got he got here if there is no common prime factor in the factorization of both co prime numbers the hcf will be 0 is this answer correct or not okay if not what is the correct hcf if you are not agreeing with this hcf 0 then what is the correct hcf okay so always remember that any two co prime numbers will have whatever how many you can take any co prime numbers co prime numbers the meaning itself is telling that they will have one as a common factor okay one will be the common factor okay so you can if you here if i take 4 and 15 
for both of them one is a common factor and hcf will be 1 okay if there is no common prime factor between the given numbers in the hcf is 1 but not 0 always remember hcf will not be 0 in any situation if there are no common factors the hcf will be 1 but it will not be 0 okay I hope you understood this video. So, whenever the largest number which is common among the given numbers is asked, you need to do the HCF of that numbers. Okay. So, you can use prime factorization method or continued division method. If you are doing prime factorization method, first do the prime factorization of different numbers and pick out the common factors. From them, you pick out the highest common factor. Okay. If you are doing the continued division method, take two numbers first, divide them. Wherever you are getting reminder 0, that TV divisor is your HCF. Okay. So, this is what how to find out the HCF of the given situations. Okay. So, I hope you understood this video. If you understand, please share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.